Standing here today to commission the Flower Pot Interchange Project is both a privilege for me and a proud moment for our nation. This project is not merely the opening of a new infrastructure. It is the unveiling of a vision for Ghana's future. One that is driven by a commitment to lasting progress, inclusivity, and national pride. This interchange is a clear, tangible example of our promise to ensure that every Ghanaian feels the positive impact of our governance. When my administration took office in 2017, we made a solemn pledge to transform Ghana's infrastructure landscape. We knew that true national development rests upon a foundation of well-planned, well-executed infrastructure. Roads are not just physical connections. They are pathways to opportunity, prosperity, and a better quality of life for all. Today with this interchange, we'll reaffirm that our commitment to progress is more than rhetoric. It is action built in stone and steel. The Farpot Interchange exemplifies my government's vision of a modern, interconnected, and prosperous Ghana. This project will significantly relieve the congestion that has long plagued this area, facilitating official movement along the Boundary Road, Spintex Road, and Burma Camp Bypass Corridors. Before today, the Flower Park Roundabout faced overwhelming traffic, often burdened with up to five, some 5,000 vehicles per hour during peak times. Today we turn a page and offer a solution designed not only to resolve today's challenges, but also to anticipate tomorrow's demands. The interchange with its two-tier structure, redesigned roundabouts, and the elevated north-south flyover linking Burma Camp Bypass to Boundary Road is an investment in the efficient future of this corridor. It will ease travel times, enhance the free flow of goods and services, and encourage economic vitality within the region. This is the future we envisaged, a future where infrastructure supports and amplifies our collective ambitions as a people. Such achievements do not occur by happenstance. The progress we see today is the product of strategic, focused leadership and the unwavering dedication of countless individuals. I commend the Ministry of Roads and Highways and its Department of Urban Roads under the dynamic leadership of its minister, the Honorable Francis Asensu Boache, Bantama Asensu, the Member of Parliament for Bantama, and of his predecessor, the giant of Etiwa, Honorable Kwesia Mwakwata, the Member of Parliament for Etiwa West, and all the hardworking contractors and consultants who have put their, poured their efforts into making this project a reality. But let us remember, this project is one among many. From the northern savannas to the southern coastlines, and from east to west, we're building a new Ghana, one where roads, bridges, schools, and hospitals rise as symbols of a nation that works for everyone. It is fitting then to acknowledge that this administration has constructed more roads and interchanges than any other in our nation's history. In the Great Accra region alone, we have completed the Pokwasi Interchange, Tema Motorway Interchange Phase 1, 
who better be lamped into change phase one, the easily gone underpass, and today, this flower pot interchange. Beyond Accra, we've also delivered the first ever interchanges in the eastern region at Suhum and in the northern region at Tamale. Each of these projects tells a story of commitment, foresight, and a Ghana that is continuously moving forward. Our journey continues with 14 additional interchanges currently underway across Ghana, each at different stages of completion. In Greater Accra, we're building interchanges at Obechebi Lamte Interchange Phase 2, Nungwa, Ajingano, Bombaria, Pram Pram, Dawinya, Savannah, and Tewamut, Tamamutaway Phase 2. In the Ashanti region, ongoing projects include the Swami Interchange Phase 1, Anumanji, Makro Magazine New Road, Abushuakurua, and Abrepo, as well as the PTC Interchange in Takradi in the Western region. These projects represent the scale of our ambition, a commitment to excellence and growth that knows no limits. Beyond interchanges, we have made substantial progress in road improvement projects across the nation. Through asphalt overlays, road rehabilitation, and reconstruction, we are creating a safer, smoother, and more efficient transportation network, enhancing riding quality and supporting socioeconomic development. Additional flagship projects, such as the dualization of Ofanko in Suwam, Adenta Dodua, Takradi Aguna Junction, and Kaswa Winneba are pro progressing remarkably well. Each of these projects underscores our resolve to build an infrastructure network that will uplift every Ghanaian in every corner of the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flower Pot Interchange is a legacy for future generations. I call on the Ministry of Roads and Highways, the newly established National Roads Authority, traditional rulers, commuters, and indeed all Ghanaians to join hands in safeguarding this asset ensuring that it serves its purpose for the long term. As we open this new chapter, I also urge motorists to exercise caution. Let us prioritize safety, respect road regulations, and nurture a driving culture that reflects our aspirations as a nation. Let this interchange serve as a proud testament to what we can achieve together a Ghana that builds, advances, and aspires towards greatness. May it serve the people of Ghana for generations to come. Accordingly, Nime, ladies and gentlemen, it is with considerable pride, and it is my singular honor to declare the flower pot interchange duly commissioned.